Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's episode, I am uh, going to demonstrate uh, this compact power hammer that I built, version 2. The first version was just a test version. This is the more permanent stand. Um, I built this stand out of a couple of 4x4s, a couple 2x4s, and uh, really made it very rigid. Um, as you guys can see, stacked some 4x4s, like I said in my first video. I'm not going to go uh, too in-depth on the build. Uh, if you want to see what it took, uh, watch my first video. But I have my motor offset um, below it. Um, I did add uh, these little guides to keep the hammer from you know, swaying back and forth when it's hitting. Um, upgraded the bolt in the back to a grade 8. Um, so it shouldn't have any issues. Uh, this is nice and tight. Kept both the springs on there and then uh, really secured this track down so it won't be bouncing when we test. Uh, I am going to test it on some uh, W2 spring steel and railroad spike and uh, maybe a couple other things, whatever I can find around in the shop. All right, guys, let's get the test started. All right, guys, so that was just a, uh, a little test of version 2.0 of this power hammer. So the last little clips, um, this was a railroad spike that I demonstrated before on the first video. And this was a W2 steel a cleaver that I've been working on that I've been having trouble flattening it out because it's so hard and so thick with a, with a hand hammer. Um, but uh, this little compact power hammer kind of accelerated that process a little bit. And uh, I wasn't able to get too much video footage because it was getting so hot in my shop. So the primary reason um, for this build, the way it is, is not for production use, but just the occasional small footprint um, budget build that really almost anybody can build. Uh, a lot of this stuff was sourced from Harbor Freight, the, the motor, uh, the hammer, um, the belt, the wheels I got off Amazon, uh, the pillow bearings I got at an ag, um, ag supply store, and then all the hardware and stuff, uh, local Ace hardware. Um, other than that, I'll keep improving it and post more videos. Uh, I'm going to do some Damascus here soon. So between my um, hydraulic press that I built and uh, this little guy, should be able to do some pretty nice work. But uh, Drop me some comments. I already see some improvements. I'm going to grind down a little bit of this lobe. Um, it's getting a little hung up um, underneath here. I had to change out this hammer because uh, version one, uh, once I built this stand, found a weak spot back here. Uh, remedied that and uh, had to get a new hammer. Luckily, it's only like $12 at Harbor Freight. Uh, so a new hammer and um, just got to work out the kinks. But other than that, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. I'll try to uh, take your feedback and, and make, uh, make it a lot better. All right, until next time.